I just want to show here quickly and as efficiently as I can. I'm in a little bit of a hurry today. Uh, I do get a lot of complaints about uh, the Tecumseh engines and carburetors. Uh, they don't run right. Well, here I'm going to give you a quick run through on a few things to check and a little bit on how to tune your carburetor but this is so simple nobody should have a problem with this it's just it's it's as easy as counting to three so anyway here we go we're gonna start here this shaft and this shaft these two shafts check them for play if they wiggle back and forth more than just a little bit, you know, like uh, a 32nd of an inch. If it's more than that, feels like more than that, you probably need to have bushings put in because they're leaking air into the carburetor and cause a lean condition. Also, now, there's two gaskets. There's one behind this plate, that uh, right here, and then there's one here. If these gaskets are cracked or hard, they will leak air by causing a lean condition and poor running. A dirty carburetor will cause problems. Always start by cleaning the carburetor, inspecting your gaskets and shafts. Now, to get on to the adjusting of a carburetor here, this screw here is your <coughs> idle screw. I got a bit of a cold here and I, my voice ain't working so well. This is your idle adjust. To the right turns it in and to the left turns it out. Turn it in to the right all the way softly. You don't want to damage that needle. When it seats, back it out one full turn and then one quarter turns. That is your factory setting for the idle. Now down below it here, I don't know if you can see here, it's kind of hard to show you, but there's a, a screw on the bottom. Same thing, right and left, right tightens it, tighten it up softly. Back this one out one and three quarters turn for factory settings. Now, with it running at factory settings, if you have black smoke coming out of your exhaust, you're too rich. So you'll want to, if you're uh, under load or you're uh, throttling up, you'll want to use that screw on the bottom of the bowl. That is your high speed screw. If it's having trouble idling, it's hunting around, that's most likely a lean condition, but you can adjust that with your idle screw. That'll also work with your high speed if you're, if you're above idle, at like full bore or three quarter throttle. Um, another thing is to prevent trouble with your carburetor now to prevent junk getting in there and giving you a hard time where you got to pull the choke to keep it running, that's your too lean. So you should richen up your carburetor. We'll come over here and we have a fuel filter. This was a couple bucks at Napa. You can get them at Walmart, you can get them at Farm Store, wherever. O'Reilly's, all these places have them. That'll catch any of the crap. I guarantee that you know the fuel you're getting at the gas station has probably got some dirt in it. I don't know why I know some of them have filters, some of them don't. Dirty fuel is a problem. So, fuel filter solves that. When you're storing fuel, when you're transferring fuel, that also lets dirt in, moisture in. You want a fuel filter. So, anyways, I'm going to have one more clip after this, but thanks for watching. Please just comment, rate, and subscribe. But anyway, I wanted to show you starting this thing on uh, factory settings. I did return this to the exact factory settings. And it does start and run pretty good. It's very usable the way it is. But I had it tuned just a little bit differently because this engine it has been tinkered with. It's, uh, it's been bored out and played with anyway. I won't let all my secrets out. But anyway, <coughs> I'm going to start it with about half choke here <coughs> and a little bit of throttle. Now I'm going to push the choke all the way in and it's going to run just fine. But it's going to take a little bit. Most of these tractors are old. They like a little bit of time to, to uh, warm up before they aren't getting choked. <laughs> 